Aladdin is a live-action remake of the 1992 Disney animated classic of the same name. It made some minor changes, some for better, some for worse, and somehow came out to be half an hour longer than the original. Today, I want to compare and contrast these two films and discover how best to enjoy. Despite being a 20 year old film, I'm actually going to stay away from spoilers. Aside from the spoiler section, as there are some things that the 2019 version of Aladdin does differently. The original Aladdin is an animated Disney classic, featuring the classics like Friend Like Me and A Whole New World. When it came out, it made over $500 million in the box office and is still renowned almost 20 years later. From the get go, Aladdin 2019 had some big shoes to fill and it did not get the best start. We all saw Blue Smith, then regular Will Smith. Watching the film, however, he wasn't nearly as bad as I thought he would be. Will Smith's portrayal of the genie was the highlight of this film. He took the character and spun it with his own wit and charm. Every time the genie and Aladdin were on screen together was a treat, and I was very entertained. While I still prefer Robin Williams' incarnation of the genie, I can still see the strengths in Will Smith's performance. And honestly, the movie is worth seeing just for him. That's not all the good the film does though. I wouldn't be able to talk about Aladdin without talking about the music. The original Aladdin had some great tracks and the remake takes them and cranks everything up to 11. The audio is mixed fantastically and really capitalises on the best elements of each song. The horns in A Friend Like Me pump you up more than ever before and the grandness of Prince Ali is even more present than in the original. The new song is okay, if oddly placed. It doesn't have the same feeling as the original set of songs, but it doesn't stand out so badly that it detracts from the experience. The last major thing I loved about this film was the look. Now. The original Aladdin still looks great today, but the remake looks fantastic. It's a brilliantly colourful take on the original. The environments all pop and have a very distinct look. It does get a little needlessly flashy at points, but it's a visual treat the whole way through. There are some weaknesses present here, however. Before getting into spoilers, I want to talk about my biggest problem with the film, along with a more minor gripe. The acting. Salah. Lucinda. Why? I'm mostly talking about the actors for Aladdin, Jasmine and Jafar here. I like the portrayals of the genie and the sultan, who is a little more three-dimensional than his animated counterpart. Now, I'm sure that Mina, Naomi and Marwan were giving it their all, and they seem to have been having fun in the roles, but something fell off throughout this whole film. Aladdin had the charm he did from the original, but no chemistry with Jasmine, who was just as wooden, until the final few scenes where she came into her own. Jafar was the biggest offender, however. Compared to the original, he does not strike me as a super evil sorcerer at all. He seems like a guy who got hired for the job of ruling the world because he was the only one who replied to the listing. He did not have the presence of the original Jafar, and the character really suffered because of it. My other gripe with the film came right away, with the song One Jump Ahead. Mina, I'm sorry, but you can't run and sing and be animated all at once. The song stopped and started like my brain in a social situation, and I kept catching the film speeding up and slowing down to make the sequence appear more animated. This did not work. Now. Onto spoilers. I'm mostly going to be talking about the new additions in the remake and what it does differently, so if you don't want to hear about those, please skip to this time. My favourite new addition to this film was Jasmine's Handmaiden. Her chemistry with Will Smith was fantastic, and like him, she was one of the only characters that felt animated. She bounced around all of her scenes as she was a great presence, even adding some unique comedic scenes for both the genie and Aladdin. Another thing that I liked was a small change they made to Aladdin's second wish. In the original, the genie essentially breaks his own rules. However, in the remake, he comes up with a passable contractual solution to save Aladdin. It was a small detail, but I really liked it. In the same vein, Jafar taking Aladdin straight out to the Cave of Wonders instead of convincing him from the jail was a great touch. This would have freed up some extra time for the film if the pacing wasn't awful. The remake is half an hour long than the original, and it's missing a lot of stuff. Most of the missing parts are assuming that you are familiar with the original Aladdin, but taking these elements out ruins the pacing completely. For a quick rundown, here's what was changed in the new Aladdin. The first scene is remixed, and essentially ruins the ending of the film. The Golden Scarab isn't present at all. No Jasmine escaping the palace, no time pressure for Jasmine's wedding, no dungeon scene. The whole exchange takes place in the desert by the Cave of Wonders. The Handmaid is completely new, along with the party scene from the trailer. Jasmine has her new song. Jafar's plan is different. He doesn't lift the palace into the sky, he doesn't trap Jasmine in a giant hourglass, and he doesn't turn into a giant snake. Jasmine being in chains and Sultan being a puppet also isn't present. Yago gets turned into a giant bird for the final act. Jasmine also wants to be Sultan in the remake. A lot of stuff is left out but what is left in is padded so much that you end up with a longer film with essentially half the content. It's something I don't think I've ever seen in a remake. Overall, Aladdin is like the Harry Potter movies. Great on its own, really, really entertaining in parts, but compared to the source material, it just doesn't hold up. Which leads me to a really interesting predicament. How can you enjoy Aladdin? The original Aladdin is what I'd call a comfort food movie. It's a timeless classic and it's a great watch almost all of the time. I'd recommend watching the original Aladdin at home under a blanket with all of your comfort foods. The new Aladdin is different. It doesn't hold up to the original for the most part, but it's still enjoyable. I'd actually recommend going to see it in your local cinema for the music and visuals alone. But for general viewings, get your friends, get some drinks and watch the remake at home while playing the following drinking game. 
drink every time something is missing from the original. You can flirt better with Princess Jasmine than Aladdin is currently doing. You can flirt better with Aladdin than Princess Jasmine is currently doing. Jafar is too hot to be evil. Abu reminds you of the live-action version of Sonic the Hedgehog with those tiny eyes. <sighs> you hear blatant auto-tune in the songs. The film either slows down, speeds up, or freezes completely. Finish every drop of alcohol in your house when a 2004-esque rap dance end credits sequence shows up. If you're still alive after that, you can tune into my review for The Lion King, Mulan, Maleficent 2, 101 Dalmatians, and even more. Why, Disney?